Well, it's that most joyous time of uh, year, Christmas, and uh, this year I thought I'd share a few of my ideas, uh, feelings about Christmas. Uh, perhaps the most iconic image of Christmas is Santa Claus, and I think it's important to note that he wasn't uh, created by uh, Coca-Cola. He's been around a lot longer than that. Uh, here's an illustration from uh, Thomas Nast around the time of the Civil War, where we see him. Uh, here we have some images of Santa interacting with children, and this was kind of my reaction when I was a child. I did not, uh, I, ter I was terrified of Santa. Um, usually when I sat on his lap, I could smell body odor and a hint of bourbon or another alcoholic beverage, but I knew that I had to talk to Santa or I wouldn't get my toys. And uh, here's kind of an iconic picture. This is Charles Darwin with Santa Claus, and this was before the age of Photoshop. I think it's kind of funny. Um, Santa on Twitter. He's following a little girl on Twitter. Isn't that a lovely thought? And, and here he's uh, Captain Ahab's getting a white whale. Um, but there's a, I think there's a darker side to Christmas also. And uh, I think it's been very commercialized. You know, what with, uh, with all the what have you. I love you, Satan. I think a very cute picture. Here are the family that hunts together, whatever. They're all getting guns. I think that's great. Ronald Reagan uh, sending out Chesterfields to all his friends. Uh, it's very kind. And here's his lovely wife, Nancy Reagan, sitting on the lap of Mr. T. She's giving him a kiss because he brought her a Mr. T action kit. Um, here's an interesting product. A miraculous Jesus with glow-in-the-dark hands uh, with fish and water to feed the, the masses. A beautiful balloon art of our Lord. Uh, that's a lot of work, I'm sure. Here's an interesting product, uh, product a fashion statement. And this is kind of an insipid, uh, nasty gift. This is to remind a drinker not to go home and take it out on his family. I won't be buying any of those today, or this, this year. Uh, here's an enterprising neighbor taking advantage of his neighbor's hard work, which is okay. A Christmas card from the WWF. I think that says it all. And this is from a bodybuilding gym here in town, and from a tattoo parlor. Uh, this, uh, this card is from Maury Povich. According to our test results, Joseph, you're not the father. Maury Christmas. That's, and this is from an atheist. It's a little bit dark. Uh, this one's really interesting. Here, uh, uh, a misanthropic person is trying to compare uh, a zombie, Frankenstein, Jesus, and Dracula, saying that they were resurrected from the dead. Townspeople fear them. They convert as many mindless as possible. I, I think that's a pretty misanthropic at Christmas. I would not be sending out a card like that. We all know that Jesus probably was black. And here we see that black Jesus can walk on water. Uh, and here's another Christmas card. Jesus ate Christ uh, without an original birth certificate. We'll never know. Um, a great utilitarian use of a religious icon. Uh, only in Italy. Is this blasphemy? Uh, well, I think Jesus would probably rather have had a Snickers bar than a, than a sponge soaked in vinegar. Uh, Commenting on our, our health care crisis, pre-existing condition. This picture says it all. Although Jesus was the Prince of Peace, Elvis is still the king. And uh, This is a nice piece of klotchke to give out at Christmas. I think uh, here's the image of Jesus uh, sending out his love to humanity. Uh, it's a little dark, too. Obviously, this comes from creationists. Uh, we have Jesus riding a dinosaur. Jesus invites you to a party in heaven anytime soon. Make sure you're ready. Well, that's good. Also, there's a lot of sightings at this time of the year. Here's a pierogi with the face of Jesus on it. Uh, and uh, in India, this is a sh now shrine. It's behind glass. The face of Jesus appears uh, on a fence uh, and on a frying pan. This is a, I got an interesting one. If you look closely at the front of the candy bar, you can see uh, the face of Jesus looks similar to the Shroud of Turin. Uh, Jesus inside a potato uh, on the cross and on a pancake. Um, here he is on an oyster shell. This sold for $1,700 and on a Pop-Tart, the Virgin Mary. Uh, here's the Virgin Mary tree in Nebraska. A little close-up of the image. And here she appears in Clearwater, Florida, on the, the a window of a building. And this, uh, this, this grilled cheese sandwich sold for $27,000 on eBay. Here she appears on a jawbreaker with the baby Jesus. It isn't, uh, and on a pancake. I should mention, it isn't just the Christians that these images appear to. Here are the, the symbol of Allah is on a goat, a devil on a turtle. Uh, God Bunny is watching you, and this says it all, I think. Mother Teresa is one of my favorite uh, religious appearances on the famous nun bun at the Bongo Java Coffee House in Tennessee. 
the nun bun uh, has, is going to be on a, a stamp, a United States stamp that became so famous. Um, so see, these are some of the images we see at Christmas. And so what's the point? I think the point is that, that whether you're a Muslim, a Jew, uh, a Christian, uh, we, can, we can all accept the fact that, uh, that the words of Christ were prophetic and profound. Uh, it's not about the, the toys. It's not about the gifts. What it's about is the camaraderie and fellowship. And when you sit around your family's table or with your friends, you should, you should remember that this is your greatest treasure of all. Uh, and this is the gift of Christmas.